Hello, this is Avantika Kansal and you're watching New India Junction. Today we are in Palakkad, one of the parliamentary constituency in the state of Kerala. And we happen to be in a senior secondary school with the manager of the school. So let's talk to him and understand about the political situation in this very constituency. Hello, sir. Welcome to New India Junction. Your name? Kailas Mani. I'm the manager of Karnayaman Higher Secondary School, Palakkad. Aided school. So, sir, tell us more about this constituency's political situation. Uh, the elections are there on 26th of April. So, what do you have to say about the entire situation? Well, the 26th is the election date for Palakkad and Kerala. See, regarding the Palakkad constituency, uh, traditionally it is a backward uh, constituency and the uh, majority of the peoples are uh, employed with agriculture and other activities, other elite activities. It is not a much developed constituency. We want to make this constituency as a developed constituency and the name of the Palakkad should be in the list of the developed state, developed areas of the country. See, so far, the Palakkad has not witnessed many developments in the, in the constituency. The programs of the state government is only implemented here. Not much central policies, central government attitudes, government, central government projects are uh, initiated in this constituency because of the inability of the uh, previous uh, uh, this one uh, uh, sunsets. They are not uh, they are not uh, too much active in their activities to uh, uh, do something for the betterment of this uh, this constituency, Palakkad. See now the C. Krishnakumar, the candidate of BJP. He's a very active gentleman and he was in the Palakkad municipality as vice chairman for the past five years. And he was the councillor of Palakkad for the last 20 years. And his career and his developmental nature is very much appreciated. And during his period of Palakkad, vice chairman of Palakkad municipality, lot of developmental activities has been initiated by him, including the rail overbridge of this Palakkad town and that has been witnessed by many and that has been assessed by many as a more as a model development project of the state and uh, the overall situation of the country also the BJP and its candidates are uh, having the developmental aspects in their minds and developmental attitudes are they are performing so it has to be developed and the Modi the world leader. See, I have toured all over the world, including Europe, and like that. See, I have witnessed so many development. I have, also, I have witnessed the people's attitudes in those countries after Modi. See, they are very much appreciated the Modi's uh, way of uh, performing or performance as a prime minister of the country. And so far, uh, so many developmental activities in the agriculture sector, in the defense sector, in the foreign sector, like touching on the women sector, everywhere the Modi's touch is there. Mm -hmm. Modi's hand is there. So the Modi model of uh, uh, government has to be come again in the country for the development of the nation. If you see the other parts of the uh, Gadbandan or Alliance, you can see those parties which are aligned with the Indian Alliance, Therefore, they are having their own grievances, their own concerns, and they are not united at all. If they come to power in India, see, it will become a mockery of democracy. It will become a, 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 a bad time for India because if there is an ununited parties are uniting for some other purpose or some their some of their personal purposes or some of their personal grievances means they will stand for their grievances only therefore their, their development only but modi is not like that so you mentioned mockery of democracy yes sir. so can you elaborate a little yes mockery, mockery means just you see the example of day before yesterday there is there was a meeting in ranji of the India Alliance. See, it was a mammothly, it was organized by the all the parties of India Alliance in the capital of the Jharkhand, Ranchi. But what happened in that meeting? See, the party itself, 
the workers itself the congress rjd uh, sp the people's the uh, workers from those parties are working for the indi alliance has been struggled has been clashing each other in that meeting itself how can they see recently mamata banerji has said today today morning in the newspaper i have read that mamata banerji has said that i am not agree with your uh, the indi alliances uh, this one uh, what you call Uh, the uh, propaganda propaganda and the poll promises i am not satisfied with that like that if the one of the main constituents of the indi alliance are the indi alliance is differ from the uh, promises of indi alliance so how can they run the government it is not possible it is a mockery of democracy only see if they gets an opportunity never they will never they will get an opportunity to rule the country even if they gets an opportunity they are mostly published in kerala see the indian lens is going to come like that see if they comes what will be the situation of our country it will be a ruined state no doubt about it so it will become a mockery of democracy also sir what are the development issues uh, in uh, the constituency of palakkad which you would want to I address you, i will tell you well it is a very good question i will tell you see the development palakkad I, i explained you earlier palakkad needs so many developments it is a uh, backward constituency and here there is no industrial development here there is no agricultural development here there is no educational development here there is no employment development like that no employment has taken place so far so we have uh, so many plans in our minds of the palakkad peoples see our area as the palakkad area has to develop industrially for that what what we have to do there will must be infrastructure activities infrastructure facilities the road the railway the electricity then everything that infrastructure facilities has to be developed so far it has not so we have to bring then in the health sector the aims has to start in palakkad see the pa- peoples of palakkad has to approach the coimbatore hospitals or thrissur hospitals mm-hmm. for some treatment mm-hmm. that is not a good thing for the palakkad peoples the health sector also we have to develop the aims has to start in palakkad mm-hmm. in the roads in the industrial activities in the agricultural activities there is no see i i told you earlier that palakkad is an ind- uh, agricultural oriented district even though the ag- palakkad is an agricultural oriented district there is no storage facility there is no sophisticated uh, godown facilities in palakkad we have to bring it we have to increase the income of the farmers for that the development is needed like that in every field there must be a there needs a change and only the modi can bring all these changes to the palakkad only the candidates of the bjp can bring all the developments to palakkad no other peoples because they are only simply they are sitting in the opposition benches in the parliament if they are selected they have nothing to do they cannot do anything for the development of our the state that is what my concern okay okay thank you sir thank you hello sir welcome to new india junction uh, your name subramanyam so tell us more about this uh, parliamentary constituency of palakkad and uh, what are the challenges that you are facing here and now that elections are approaching who is your favorite candidate or party uh, that you would probably go ahead with palakkad la bjp da baranam baranamulladine kurichu aalochichittu thirumanikka kaaranangal paladundu adil pradhanamayittulla aanu നരേന്ദ്ര മോഡിയുടെ എഫിഷ്യൻസി ഒന്ന് അതിന് കാരണം കണ്ട് എല്ലാ പ്രധാനമന്ത്രിമാരെയും ഞാൻ കണ്ടിട്ടുണ്ട് ശരിക്കും പറഞ്ഞാൽ പണ്ട് ജവഹർലാൽ നെഹ്റു മുതൽ ഉള്ള എല്ലാ പ്രധാനമന്ത്രിമാരെയും ഞമ്മൾ കണ്ടിട്ടുണ്ട് ഇതിൽ വെച്ച് മികച്ച പ്രധാനമന്ത്രി നരേന്ദ്ര മോഡിയാണ് സോ ഹി വിഷസ് ടു സി ബി ജെ പി ഇൻ പാലക്കാട് ഇൻ ദ കറൻറ്റ് സിറ്റുവേഷൻ ദ മെയിൻ റീസൺ ഈസ് ദാറ്റ് ബിക്കോസ് ഓഫ് മോദി ഹി ഈസ് സെവൻറ്റി ഫോർ ഇയേഴ്സ് ഓൾഡ് സോ ഹി ഹാസ് സീൻ ഓൾമോസ്റ്റ് എവ്രി Prime Minister that has come in power in India from Pandit Jawaharlal Nehru to Modi. In that he favors Modi more because he is efficient and a powerful leader of this nation. So he wants BJP to come in Palakkad which is supported by the Narendra Modi. Okay. So currently here it is uh, UDFs, uh, the MP is from UDF, uh, the current MP. No, 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 no,
MP. Yeah, the Congress MP. Uh, so, uh, can you tell us uh, a little bit about the situation uh, uh, here currently? Palakkad, Sriya Parnjal, Karanda Karanda, ye MP maru vanna dilay. Pratej jo gunangal ondo Palakkad dinai thilya. UDF MP, I got a moment I run the LDF one the two, Palakkad like Pratej ka chhama itla na tangal ondo dinai thilya. There haven't been any benefits. Uh, because of these MPs, LDF and UDF has came in Palakkad, but the people of Palakkad has haven't received any benefits from these MPs. What kind of benefits are the people here looking for? Janangal, janangal ko andha amada itla samrashanam undaag nillya. Pudu itla itla jana samrashanam undaag nillya vanna. Aver katya vishe mandala itla kariyengalon do nee deyadkaan. Samuga chaima pension pas samujhe kudunwaan. So, Palakkad people do not feel protected in their own place. They do not get enough rations from the shop, ration shop and they do not get the social welfare pensions too. The, the current MPs and the current government is making Palakkad a backward district through their governance. Okay, and how do you think uh, BJP can help? BJP can help. 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 BJP can BJP is in power at the central. So, a MP who represents the central power wins in Palakkad. He he thinks he he can bring changes to Palakkad with the power of central government. Anything else, sir, that you would want to add? Yes. BJP samadhu jalam Palakkad le paraya yeh society pala Palakkad ne BJP da gunam. Vadra yadi atya visha mana karan angar dal jamla yeh samadhu jalam BJP daralam pradeshi endre. BJP is not a very good thing. Otherwise, the bar is a very good thing. The bar is a very good thing. The bar is a very good thing. The the people of Palakkad places a lot of hope in the BJP party. The BJP government has made India number one in the world rankings. The current BJP government has both made drastical changes such as the CAA and the Article 317 and lots of other changes and women empowerment and the protection of uh, the lives of the old people and retired people. So they hope uh, by selecting a BJP candidate in Palakkad, he can bring similar changes to Palakkad too. Okay. Thank you, sir. Hello, sir. Your name? Radha Krishna. So, uh, sir, uh, tell us more about the constituency of Palakkad. I Palakkad Mandalate Kursamudi Paramodan. Karanam, Idivare, LDF, UDF, Barichund, E. Palakkad Retane, Vigasalat in the Muradi Pilla Daki Kundu. The Varia Palakada Adi Paradi the Metapalavu State, but a district item on the Muka Tan Ide Uru Pache Idi Dil, Krishomar Jaki Angel, Kandar, the support to Palakad Railway, Palakad Stadium, Palakad Town, nearby Kwambatu. Are you to say change your own Sadik in Alana, Paran Sadik? Currently in Palakad, LDF and UDF have changed their governments and the stunted the growth of Palakad. So he he's hoping that a different candidate or Krishna Kumar, who is a candidate of, of NDA, will come and bring changes to Palakkad with the help of central government. He, the changes he wishes to see are in the Palakkad town and the Palakkad stadium and improvements in the Palakkad railway. Okay. What else? Other land that Angle can done for another. Karanam, in the way, Namlu Palakkad. Adi para dan da paraya bayangkarat la uru mosa itu la uru dana na palakar kaiciu kan sahijit la. Inu uru bace central government sagai tu uru uru windum. Namu kudu beri ane gil. Uru vikasan ulia tu uru state uru state le 
ഏറ്റവും മോശപ്പെട്ട ജില്ല എന്ന് പറയാൻ നമുക്ക് പറയാൻ സാധിക്കും ദ പാലക്കാട് ഹാസ് സീൻ റിയലി ബാഡ് പെർഫോമൻസ് ഫ്രം ഇറ്റ്സ് കറണ്ട് എം പീസ് സോ ഹി ഈസ് ഹോപ്പിംഗ് ദാറ്റ് ദ നെക്സ്റ്റ് കാൻഡിഡേറ്റ് വിത്ത് വിൽ വിൻ വിത്ത് ദ ഹെൽപ്പ് ഓഫ് സെൻട്രൽ ഗവൺമെൻറ്റ് ആൻഡ് വിൽ ബ്രിങ് ചേഞ്ചസ് ടു പാലക്കാട് and the palakkad he is he is saying that he can say palakkad is one of the most backward districts in kerala in terms of development okay but why is that so uh, that it is the most backward district in terms of development why endonda thangal parayna palakkadil vigasanam valare valare kuravana railway first in railway second in some stadium yadar vidha vigasanam illatha oru jilla nu parayanengil അത് നമ്മുടെ ഈ പാലക്കാട് ജില്ലയാണെന്ന് നമുക്ക് തുറന്ന് പറയാൻ സാധിക്കും ഇതുപോലുള്ള നവീകരണ പദ്ധതികൾ എങ്ങനെ അഭിസംബോധന ചെയ്യാൻ പറ്റും ഇവിടെ വികസനം നടക്കുന്നില്ല എന്ന് താങ്കൾ പറഞ്ഞല്ലോ അപ്പോൾ ആ പ്രശ്നങ്ങൾ എങ്ങനെ അഭിസംബോധന ചെയ്യാൻ പറ്റും കാരണം ഇന്ന് നമ്മുടെ കേരളത്തിൽ ഭരിക്കുന്ന ഒരു ബി ജെ പി ഭരിക്കുന്ന ഒരു മുനിസിപ്പാലിറ്റിയാണ് ഇന്ന് പാലക്കാടുള്ളത് അതിലുപരി ഇന്ന് നമ്മുടെ പാലക്കാടിന് നിയർ ബൈ കോയമ്പത്തൂർ അടുത്തുള്ളത് തമിഴ്നാട്ടിന് അടുത്തുള്ളത് കൊണ്ട് ഇവിടെ നിന്ന് എന്ത് കാര്യത്തിന് വേണമെങ്കിലും ഒരു ഡോക്ടറായാലും ശരി ഹോസ്പിറ്റലൈസേഷൻ ആയാലും എന്ത് വേണമെങ്കിലും നമ്മൾ അടുത്ത സ്റ്റേറ്റായ കോയമ്പത്തൂർ ജില്ലയാണ് നമ്മൾ സമീപിച്ചുകൊണ്ടിരിക്കുന്നത് അത് നമ്മുടെ ഒരു എ എം സി ഇല്ല റെയിൽവേ ഒരു ഇവിടുന്ന ഒരു ഇവിടുന്ന് തുടങ്ങുന്ന ഒരു ട്രെയിനില്ല പിന്നെ യാതൊരുവിധ ഇതുപോലെ എം പി ആയിട്ടുള്ള ശ്രീകണ്ഠൻ ഇന്ന് ഇരുന്നിട്ട് കൂടെ യാതൊരുവിധ വികസനം ഉണ്ടായിട്ടില്ല എന്നാണ് പറയാൻ സാധിക്കുക ദ പീപ്പിൾ ഓഫ് പാലക്കാട് ഹാസ് ടു റിലൈ ഓൺ ദ നിയർ ബൈ സിറ്റി കോൾ കോയമ്പത്തൂർ ഫോർ എവ്രിത്തിങ് ഹെൽത്ത് if they want to see a good doctor they have to go to coimbatore if they have to get good health care they have to go to coimbatore if they have to get a good education they have to go to coimbatore so he wishes to see a change in that palakkad must have a self fulfillment or they must be sovereign in terms of these kinds of stuff so we should to change, uh, see a change in that and pal there is no train that begins from palakkad junction so he also wishes to see a change in that too so which party can bring that change as per you ഈ സെൻട്രൽ ഗവൺമെൻറ് നരേന്ദ്രമോദി ഭരിക്കുന്ന വരുന്നുള്ളത് ഷുവറാണ് അതിൽ നമുക്കൊരു സപ്പോർട്ട് ചെയ്ത് കൃഷ്ണകുമാർ സെൻട്രൽ ഗവൺമെൻറ്റിലേക്ക് എൻ പി ഐ തിരഞ്ഞെടുക്കുകയാണെങ്കിൽ അതിലൂടെ നമ്മുടെ പാലക്കാടിനെ ഒരു പരമോന്നത ഇതിലേക്ക് വരുത്താൻ സാധിക്കുന്നതാണ് പറയാനുള്ളത് so if there is a candidate in palakkad that is backed up by the central government uh, krishna kumar he will bring drastic changes to palakkad and palakkad will reach the top most district one of the it will become one of the top most district in kerala with the help of central government okay okay so sir just last question recently bjp has also released its manifesto so how do you think that manifesto is going to help to uh, improve the situation അതായത് ബി ജെ പിയുടെ രണ്ടായിരത്തി ഇരുപത്തിനാലിലെ മാനിഫെസ്റ്റോ പുറത്തിറങ്ങിയല്ലോ അപ്പോൾ ആ മാനിഫെസ്റ്റോയുടെ ഉള്ള ഐഡിയകൾ എങ്ങനെയാണ് പാലക്കാടിന് സ്വാധീനിക്കുന്നത് സ്വാധീനിക്കുന്നതും വികസനം നടക്കാൻ പോകുന്നു പാലക്കാട് കാരണം ഇന്ന് സെൽഫോൺ മുളവ്മെൻറ്റ് ജോലിയുടെ അൻപത് ശതമാനം ഇന്ന് അധിക ജോലി സാധ്യതയുള്ള ഒരു ജില്ലയാണ് പാലക്കാട് എന്ന് നമുക്ക് പറയാൻ സാധിക്കും അതിലുപരി ഈ മറ്റേ ദരിദ്രരായിട്ടുള്ള പി എം വൈ മറ്റേ പി എം മറ്റേ യോജന ആയുഷ്മാൻ ഭാരത് മറ്റുള്ള അങ്ങനെ പലവിധ വികസനങ്ങളും കൊടുത്ത് ജനങ്ങളിലേക്ക് ഇറങ്ങിച്ചെന്ന് ബി ജെ പി മുന്നിൽ വരണമെന്നാണ് ആഗ്രഹം ദ ലോട്ട്സ് ഓഫ് സ്കീംസ് ദാറ്റ് ഹാവ് ബീൻ ഇൻട്രൊഡ്യൂസ്ഡ് ബൈ ദ കറണ്ട് പി എം മോദി ഹാസ് ഹെൽപ് ദ പീ പൂവർ പീപ്പിൾ ഓഫ് എൻറ്റയർ നേഷൻ നോട്ട് ഓൺലി പാലക്കാട് സോ ഹി തിങ്സ് ദാറ്റ് ദ പി എം ലോട്ട് ഓഫ് യോജനാസ് ദാറ്റ് ആർ ഇൻട്രൊഡ്യൂസ്ഡ് ബൈ ദ പി എം വിൽ ബി എ ഗ്രേറ്റ് ബെന